Brothers and sisters, today the topic of treasures for the soul is the most blessed generation. The church has appeared, and we live in the most blessed generation. Firstly, we are Abba's true children. Secondly, the Lord has set up the break bread meeting. By His blood, He has established a better covenant with us. Thirdly, we are the Lord's brothers, which was His first declaration after His resurrection. Fourthly, we are at the last stage of the age of the church. We have a chance to cross the finish line together. Fifthly, the Lord has restored many truths in this generation so that we may know and enjoy them. Let us do what Psalm 22 describes, praising God in the assembly. Let the Lord lead us to praise Abba together. He will continue to declare Abba's name to us. Brothers and sisters, we live in the most blessed generation of all time in human history. The Holy Spirit has come, and the age of the church has begun. This is also the age of God's family. God's family has indeed appeared. When you read the four Gospels in the New Testament, you'll find that they are very different from the Old Testament. It mentions many times the truth about Abba. You can never find any psalms that mentions Father. This is indeed a new generation. Psalm 22 foretells the coming of this age. The psalm also depicts the Lord's crucifixion and prophesied at least ten kinds of sufferings which he endured. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The only begotten Son of God was chastised by the Father so that today we can become the closest to God. Hence the new covenant was established. The Lord set up the break bread meeting for us to remember him. When we have the break bread meeting, we proclaim his death until he comes. One of the precious truths in this meeting we enjoy is the fact that the everlasting, infinite Lord used his blood to establish a new covenant. Several times in the book of Hebrews, it describes this as the better covenant. The coming of the Lord has changed many things. He brought forth a better covenant. Aren't we so blessed to be in this generation? We're Abba's dearest child. The Lord came and disclosed to us many secrets about the Father. He himself called God Abba Father. Moreover, after he ascended to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to us, that we can cry out, Abba, Father. After the Lord's resurrection, his first precious message to us was, My Father is your Father. From Psalm 22, what came after the account of the Lord's suffering? The author speaks about the most important thing that has been accomplished. It's the church, our assembly. The church isn't individual saints living on their own, but it's a family that comes together. In addition, we enjoy wholly and share with one accord the Lord's table, which He has prepared for us. I will tell of your name to my brothers. The Lord will declare the Father's name to His brothers. During the Last Supper, before the Lord's crucifixion, he could only call the disciples his friends. However, after his resurrection, he proclaimed, Tell my brothers. Such a term isn't used as a way of addressing people. Otherwise, the Lord could have called us brothers at any time. Indeed, it's special. The Bible says that the Lord is the firstborn, and we are the assembly of the firstborn in heaven. When you read the Old Testament, you know the firstborn inherits the most and the best from the Father. We, the church, are more blessed than all the others. Psalm 22 verse 22 further states, In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. The Lord Jesus is the most active in the assembly. He will praise God. He's fully involved in the meetings. Today, he also praises God among us. 
because he's united with us and he lives in our hearts, he can lead us to praise God. He continues to open our eyes and declares the Father's name to us. Moreover, the Lord opens his heart to us and he will continue to declare the Father. Isn't it precious? After his ascension, he continues to declare the Father in our hearts. From our hymns, you can see our spiritual journey. Till today, he's been declaring the Father and continues to open his heart to us and his word. He is the word. He makes us understand God's heart. His heart to us and all the truths. He is the word, which is also the truth. He's full of grace and full of truth. Today he continues to open our eyes and teaches us in our hearts. Now is the age of the church, and we're at the last of the seven eras of the church. We're so blessed that we have a chance to cross the finish line. Don't think that you have many more days on earth because you're young. Possibly, we may have the same remaining days on earth before the Lord comes back. If he comes back today, it makes no difference that you're young or that I'm 76. Therefore, treasure today. Enjoy today. Live heart to heart with the Lord today. Maybe the Lord will come back tomorrow. He can come back at any time now. The situations in today's world has already set the stage. Things can change instantly. Don't think it'll take a long time for things to happen. Look at the rapid advancement of technology. Moreover, who could have imagined what had happened in Hong Kong half a year ago? But things just changed overnight. Today, we're so blessed to have the Lord. The truths that the Lord has restored for us are very precious. If you were born a few hundred years ago, you wouldn't be able to enjoy as much truth as today. The Lord wants to use you. He needs many to have the same heart to accomplish His purpose together. 